I have a watch, it's a good watch, that has the old school mechanical movement. And I'll tell you, my friend, if I don't wind that every day, that watch winds down and then it is dead. And then you have to correct everything, which takes time going through and resetting the calendar. And it's, it's a hassle. It's better to keep it wound up fully daily. And so with our lives. Do you feel your battery is running down? In Matthew 11:28, it speaks to this. It says, Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. My friend, life is strenuous. See that your clock does not run down. See that your life is infilled and continually overflowing, not empty, but filled with the life of God. Well, the demands of daily life, they can drain us. They can drain us of our strength and eventually from that rob us of our joy. The joy that God intends for each of God's children. Now, if you find yourself tired, if you find yourself discouraged, or even worse, there is a source from which you can draw the power needed to recharge your spiritual batteries. And that source is God. God wants God's children to lead a joyous life filled with spiritual abundance and peace. But sometimes those blessings seem elusive. It is then that we must turn to God for renewal, and when we do, God will restore us. God expects us to work hard, but God also intends for us to play and to rest. When we fail to take the time to play and to rest that we need, we do a disservice to ourselves and to those around us. So today, on this Friday, if you're watching it on the first day of broadcast, is your spiritual battery running low? Is your energy on a wane? Are your emotions just frayed, which comes from being overly tired? If so, right now turn to God and accept the rest and recharging that only God can offer you.